quick uh, tag video um, today for you guys and this one is called the military spouse tag and I was tagged in this by Army Beauty Wife here on YouTube and her link will be down below um, and if you see me in another tag video um, the beauty scenario tag is because I'm filming them the same day so please excuse that but anyways um, so I'm just going to get into it because they are quite a few questions so the first one is how did you and your spouse meet we actually met on myspace i was just getting out of a bad relationship well for me anyways i don't know if it was for him but for me it was kind of a bad relationship and i wasn't really getting on there to look for anybody i was getting on there to actually look for friends and family members um just to have somebody to chat with and i seen his profile and something was just telling me to talk to him or to send him a message, so I did. And that's kind of, kind of how we met. But actually, officially met. We he came over to uh, my house the next day that we was talking on MySpace. So the day after we did that, and we just kind of met that way and just kind of hung out at my parents' house because I was still, I was like seventeen or eighteen when we met. I think it was 18, but I was still kind of living with my parents because I just left my ex-boyfriend and where he was. So, anyways, number two, how old were you when you two met? I think I was 18 when we met. Uh, 18 or 19, somewhere around there. Uh, number three, how long have you been together? We have been together now for six years, almost seven years. Uh, number four, where are you and your spouse originally from? We are both from Kentucky, um, but just kind of two separate, uh, places of Kentucky, but they're, they are really close, but we are from Kentucky. Uh, number five, how did you feel about him joining the military? He was actually already in the military when we met. He just got out, got out of basic training, I think. From what I remember, he just got out of basic training when we met. Number six, uh, where did you, your spouse go to basic training? He went to Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri for basic training. Number seven, how has your spouse ever been deployed? He has been deployed twice and both times has been to Afghanistan. And the first deployment was 15 months and the second deployment was a year. And the first time he went, we was only together for a year or er, a month and a half before he had to leave for 15 months and I stayed to, with him the whole time and a lot of people ask me how come you didn't cheat on him or how come you didn't leave him um, because I didn't want to I loved him I knew I loved him and I wanted to be with him and I was not about to do that to him because he was overseas fighting for our country and that is so not right to whoever does that um, yeah that's just my opinion on that anyways uh, number eight, have you ever been to a promotional ceremony? No, I have not, um, because he doesn't really care for that stuff, and he just never really told me about it, but if he wanted me to go, then yes, I would go. Uh, number nine, how long have you been a military wife? We, I have been a military wife for five years, going on six, I think, or going on five years or yeah five years going on six years somewhere around there anyways uh did you marry him before or after he joined i married him after he joined number 11 how did he propose he we really he didn't really propose we just kind of decided that we was getting married um so yeah number 12 where did you get married? We got married at my parents' house in the front yard because they had like this like willow tree that was so beautiful during the summertime and I really wanted to get married under that. And we was kind of doing like a hurry up quick type of wedding. We didn't really plan for it. Um, but I did have a dress and all of that. So uh, number 13, how old were you two when you got married? I was 19 and he was 21. Yeah, he was 20. No. 22. No, 21. Because he's two years older than me and I was 19. So, 
21. Anyways, uh, let's see. How, uh, or number 14, did he wear his uniform on uh, his wedding day? Yes, he did. Number 15, were, where are you and your spouse currently stationed? We are currently stationed at Schofield Barracks in Hawaii on Oahu, if you're wondering. Uh, number 16, do you live on base? No, we don't technically live on base. We kind of live, it's on a military like housing place, but it's not on the main base. So I'm just going to say no for that. Uh, number 17, how long were you, uh, how long were you two married when you had to go through your first separation? We was not married when we had to go through our first deployment. Number 18, what is your favorite base so far? We've only been to two bases so far, and our favorite one totally is has to be Fort Campbell, Kentucky. They made actual sense there. Here, they do not make sense whatsoever, and it's just ridiculous how they run stuff here. Um, number 19, do you think your spouse looks good in his uniform? Yes, every man looks good in uniform. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> Number 20. Do you think military life is more advanced than civilian life? No, not really. They just have a lot more rules than civilians have to go through. Like, if you go on post, you can't wear, like, you're not supposed to wear, like, tank tops or you can't wear jeans with holes in them. Um, just certain stuff like that, which is retarded to me, but, or not retarded scratch that I did silly to me because they don't buy our clothes so why are they gonna sit there and tell us what we can and can't wear anyways but no it's not uh, number 21 do you like the benefits you receive as a military military dependent yes I do we get to go to the doctor for free um, and we don't have to do no copay or nothing we get um, free um, like prescriptions and stuff I think it's like up to three prescriptions you can get for free but after that you I think you only pay like maybe three dollars I don't know I've never had more than three so I don't know do you have do you have a lot of military wife friends I actually have four four or five five military friends but um, one of them I've never met so, and I hope I get to meet her one day, and that's Army Beauty Wife here on YouTube. She's the one that tagged me in this, or in this video, I think, or some, yeah, she tagged me in this video. And then I have four more. One actually lives next door to me, and she's getting ready to move. Two of them has already moved to a different, like, station, and one is my cousin's wife. So, I have four, five, five military friends, or wife friends. Um, the next question is, what is the hardest part of military life? The hardest part is when they have to go on deployment, and especially if you have children or young kids, they don't understand why they're gone, or why they're gone for so long, or, you know, if they're ever coming back, and it's hard to explain to them what's going on, and that mommy or daddy will be home soon, or anything like that. And I do have a video posted of... My daughter, Trinity, she was crying when Chris came home from N NTC. He was gone for almost two months. And I did not expect her to cry like that. I expected her to be her normal self. But she started, like, literally bawling. And it made me want to cry because I felt so bad. And it's just hard. So, but um, you guys can also go check that. I will try to put the link down below. But if I don't, it's, like, one of my previous videos. Um, number 24, do you own any military wife stuff? No, I don't. And number 25, do you support your spouse as a military member? Uh, yes, I support him as a military member, but I actually can't wait for him to get out just so we can have, feel like a normal life. With military life, you never know what they're going to be doing, if they're going to be gone one minute or here the next or... Um, if they're going to have to go back overseas or just, it's crazy, it's very stressful for me anyways, for me. Um, I'm the type of person who likes a really calm, chilled type life and like a routine. 
Um, with his job, you never know when he's going to be at work, when he's going to get off, or anything like that. And right now, he's actually at CQ. So, it's just, it's crazy. I can't wait to get back to normal, regular civilian life and not have to worry about any of this military stuff. But if he wanted to stay in, then yes, I would support him totally, 100% support. Um, and yeah, that is all of the questions. I hope you guys like this video. And if any of you are new to the Army life and you have any questions for me, then please do not hesitate to ask me. And I will try to answer them as best as I can for you. And um, just wish you guys luck and just... Just stay strong, and we're all here for you. If you, I'm sure if you need anybody, we're all here here for you. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.